that was funny. <laughs> so we're here in the uh, Yahoo Yodel studio with Rob Cravalho, but I want to talk about a different studio you've been in lately. You're in the studio with Adam Lambert. Yes. I want details. Give me a scoop. What's, what's Adam happening? Lambert is probably one of the most gifted singers I've ever recorded. He's unbelievable. He has a limitless range. He actually can sing every note that's on the guitar from the lowest to the highest. It's crazy. Which is a very, very unusual thing. And he's actually the greatest, nicest guy. He comes in. He just wants to do a great job. He's really fun to hang out with. And, um, and I think we have some amazing songs. How many songs have you worked on together? I have done six with him. And there's uh, a song, there's a movie called 2012. Uh, starring John Cusack, that's going to be a huge thing, and um, we did the. Uh, you'll be seeing that shortly, I believe. No, it's. I, I've been or writing about. It's, it's out already. It's out already. It, it's out. It out uh, Friday, and the, the whole. Well, the no, just like twenty nine seconds of it. Twenty nine seconds. Which you hear the whole song. Which you hear the whole song. When will we awesome. get to hear the whole song? In a couple of weeks. Oh no, December. No, I'm sorry, December. <laughs> October eighteenth. That's soon. in five days, I believe the song will be released. So was that the song that he did at Capitol Studios with like the orchestra? I saw him tweet something about that. Well, there's two things. He came to the studio, he came to Capitol Studios um, with me to do strings on, we had a 30 piece orchestra for two different songs. There is a 30 piece orchestra on this song as well. Crazy. So that was, but he didn't go to that session. He came to the one uh, like about five days ago. So how would you describe the sound? I mean, I've, yeah, I've heard the word glam thrown around a lot, which makes me happy. There's a lot of glam rock. There's a lot of electro pop. It's sort of a glam robot invasion kind of a thing. And so That's the album title right there. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Um, <laughs> but it's definitely, it's got classic rock, but it also has a lot of modern sort of dance and, 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 uh, and pop elements to it. So it's, it's, it's something new, it's something great. See, that's the interesting, I think it's kind of a dilemma he might be in, that a lot of people who liked him on American Idol liked him singing classic rock songs, singing songs like Whole Lot of Love and, and Aerosmith songs and, and uh, Steppenwolf songs and things like that, but I don't really feel that's the direction he's going to go in, and I'm wondering if people will, you know, if he puts up some crazy electro pop thing, if people are going to accept it. Well, I think if, if it has enough rock in it, which I know that, that I've done, I'm doing six or seven songs, I know that the ones that I'm working on definitely have that. Um, where it has the rock element and at the same time it has something new because you really what you want is is Adam sound what yeah. is that going to be what is that new Adam sound going to be and I think it's I think it's pretty awesome um, it's kind of interesting though it's like the circumstances are in you usually have a little more time to work on a band's record than a um, like he he basically has like a month to get it out I mean how do you work under the pressure of like trying to rush out like you know an American Idols album? And, I, and make it good, not just rush it out just to get something out, you know? Basically, the answer is I don't sleep much. <laughs> I, I, I was working on it until 4 in the morning last night uh, from my hotel room to Los Angeles on the phone, uh, arranging background vocals and other things. And um, and it, it is a hard thing to, to do, is to make is to make the, the songs without the artist. And then the artist comes in, and then you have to quickly adjust, because once you feel the artist in your presence, then mm -hmm. it does change, and you want the music to really perfectly reflect who he is. Um, but I think we got it. I think how, we got it. We're, involved, we're all happy. How involved is he in the writing at all, or, or or having any kind of say in the production or anything like that? Oh, a lot, a lot. I mean, if if uh, you know, if he says, "Oh, I don't really love that part," or whatever, you know, can I have something more, you know, more of a synth thing or more of an electronic thing? Then we do it. We adjust it. We'll we'll turn off the old thing and and turn on something new. Um, and at the same time, in terms of picking songs. Um, he can only sing a song that he loves. Right. Can you give me any song titles or any scoop or anything? Give me a scoop. A scoop. A scoop. Give me some um, there's a song called Winners. There's a song called Music Again. Uh, there's a song called Suburban Decay. Like that. Yeah. Awesome. It's cool stuff. Has a, got a bit of a My Chemical Romance sound to it, My Suburban Decay, or actually a Green Day sound to it. That it has a. Uh, it's a whole new thing. <laughs> it's a different thing. It, but it, those titles do rec harken back to that. They do sound a little Green Day or My Chemish, but it's actually something new. You'll see. I can't wait. Well, thank you so much for giving me a scoop and for coming by the Yahoo Studio. It's a pleasure. Thank you.